Hello and welcome to my video. This is a quick and simple experiment to show whether SO Supreme super unleaded petrol, or it can be used to test any other petrol, super unleaded or otherwise, uh, to see if it contains ethanol, uh, bioethanol, corn ethanol, whatever you like to call it, which is uh, found in a lot of petrols now. Uh, you'll see it on the fuel pumps marked as uh, E5, which basically means 5% ethanol, E10 in some cases. And uh, with classic cars and motorcycles, uh, ethanol can actually damage the fuel system. And uh, some people in clubs have asked me that if I know whether for certain any of the uh, high octane uh, petrols are available in the country without ethanol in, so you can still safely use it in a uh, unmodified classic vehicle. Uh, this experiment could be used on any petrol to see if it contains uh, whatever amount of um, ethanol. Uh, including a Shell D power, which I do have uh, some here as well, which I will also test. Even though I do know that actually does contain 5% ethanol, it's uh, uh, marked as E5. Uh, strangely, SO Supreme is also marked E5 on the petrol pumps. Some people in a uh, few car clubs and uh, motorcycle uh, clubs that I've spoken to have actually written to SO and Exxon Mobil to ask. Uh, does their uh, premium quality fuel, the uh, super unleaded, which they market as supreme, uh, actually contain ethanol? And they say it doesn't, apart from in a couple of counties, uh, Devon, Cornwall, and a, another area of, uh, of Britain. The petrol can here, I have uh, SO Supreme, which was bought uh, from a garage in West Oxfordshire. Uh, so th this should be counted as one of the ethanol free fuels, but let's find out. What you first need to do is uh, take your clear jar and uh, pour some water approximately a, sort of between a quarter or a third way up. As you can see here it's probably about a quarter, doesn't have to be too accurate. Uh, some black floating in it as well, that's not important. Uh, with the Sharpie, if you just mark the line where the water is, which I won't be able to do one-handed. Now with the water line marked, all you do is uh, pour it back into a um, back into another glass just to make things a little bit easier with pouring the petrol. Uh, you can just pour the petrol in straight over the top here, but this is just to, uh, like I say, just make things a little bit easier and allow the uh, water to pass through the uh, petrol better, so it just might make the results happen a little quicker. Uh, so next, you add your petrol. With the petrol added, now you can pour the water back into it. Uh, obviously the more petrol you put in, the easier it is to get a reading. Uh, you might have a better uh, container than me for doing this. Ideally, if you had a measuring cylinder or something like that, you could even work out what percentage of ethanol is in the petrol. But uh, currently in the UK, we only have 5% ethanol in our unleaded fuels. Uh, but that's apparently not mandatory for the super unleaded, so it's just that most fuel companies actually choose to. I might just cover it just to stop any contamination. That's, uh, I, don't, I don't have a lid for this jar anymore. The idea is the ethanol will be taken uh, out of the uh, fuel blend and the petrol itself will sit on top of the water. Uh, so of course if, if the line of the, if there is ethanol in here, the line of the water will be higher because it now contains that volume of ethanol in there and you can tell if it's got any. Of course uh, this fuel apparently doesn't have ethanol in it, in which case the, the line should be at the same place as we've marked the black line here. In only just a few seconds you can actually take a look, it's, uh, it doesn't take long for the water to actually pull. Uh, any ethanol out of it but of course there isn't any here so the water itself is sunk to the bottom uh, this is petrol on top and as you can see the water level line here is exactly where it was before so the results of this is SO Supreme does not contain any ethanol uh, as they claim and uh, so if you're in Cornwall or Devon and I think there was one other county they mentioned or it might be in the Isle of Wight that does apparently have the ethanol in uh, but in the rest of the country, you can buy SO Supreme and safely use it in a classic motorcycle or car or anything that's going to be susceptible to uh, ethanol damage such as chainsaws, lawn mowers, two-stroke sort of scooters and machinery. I will do a part two where I'm testing a fuel that I know to have ethanol in its blend, uh, which would be Shell V-Power. Uh, it's one of the supposedly best quality fuels in the country. But unfortunately, because it contains ethanol, it could be detrimental to 
uh, your classic vehicle. Um, yep, see you soon.